Okay, for today's sous vide adventure, we're going to do some baby carrots as one component of the meal and uh, chicken thighs, lemon chicken thighs, and uh, I'm going to get some Swiss chard that I'm growing outside and uh, harvest the first batch of that and uh, saute that up to go with it. So, I'm going to have to do this in stages. going to have to do the carrots first and then the chicken second. So, at the end of the whole process, uh, reheat the carrots in a skillet with you know with the juices that accumulate, uh, sort of uh, glaze them I guess, and uh, and I'll sauté the uh, Swiss chard at that point. So, anyway, just wanted to give a, a heads up as to what's going on, and uh, I'll show you how it all comes together. Here is the uh, Swiss chard. I'm going to take the first uh, uh, or harvest the first. Uh, leaves here and uh, saute that up so just wanted to give you a look at it before I get it picked <clears throat> okay what I'm doing here is I'm using the uh, little torch here to try to pre-sear these chicken thighs I didn't really want to video it from the start because it's taken forever but wasn't sure if it's going to work but it does seem to be browning them up a little bit so anyway um, I'm not even going to bother doing the underside, just doing the top side, <coughs> excuse me. And so we'll uh, go ahead and bag these up. Uh, carrots still have another half hour to go, and uh, we'll get these in the bath. Uh, they got to be in there for a good four hours. Did not plan this well. I'm not going to be eating dinner till about 8 o'clock tonight, but oh well, what are you going to do? So anyway, um, just wanted to show you this part of it. They don't look too bad. Uh, see in the end if it makes any kind of a taste difference so back later okay here's the chicken thighs ready to go what I do I took the skin off and then I did that pre sear on the top side uh, and then I seasoned them top and bot top and underside with salt and pepper and then I uh, smashed a clove of garlic for each thigh four cloves of garlic just mashed it and then um, put that on top of the thigh and then put some fresh thyme and on top of each one uh, a lemon slice so we'll see how this all tastes in the end uh, it's going to be a good four hour plus cook so anyway that's what they look like at this point okay time to harvest the swiss chard uh, first harvest anyway uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Can't do it with uh, one hand, so I have to come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, somebody got a haircut. Wow. Uh, that's a pretty good yield there. I'm going to go in and straighten it up and get it uh, ready to go into the pan. So, show you what that looks like in a bit. Okay, give it a rough chop. Uh, there's the stems. They're going to go in first. Um, with some olive oil and get them uh, cooking down uh, along with some garlic and then of course the uh, Swiss chard itself will go in won't be in there for long because it will wilt pretty quickly and then at the end splash with a little red wine vinegar and uh, while I'm doing that I'm going to also try to reheat the uh, carrots and uh, kind of glaze them and there's the chicken that's basically done it's just now a matter of uh, finishing another glass of uh, white wine before I actually want to eat. So that's the beauty of sous vide. No hurry. Back to show you what it all looks like. Okay, time to rock and roll. We're going to get this thing going here. I'm going to get, got the, gonna get the pans hot and uh, get the carrots in and, uh, and then the, the greens last. So I'll be back to show you. Okay, stems are in and cooking. Uh, probably won't take too long. This, these aren't that big, aren't that thick. Um, saw about an equal amount of Swiss chard today at Kroger for $2.99 a bunch. So it kind of makes me feel good that I'm getting the value here. Man, this is starting to smell good though. Um, back in a sec here, Ashley. Got the carrots going over here. I'm going to get them glazed. Got them over some 
medium high heat, kind of try to simmer some of the uh, liquid off and uh, hopefully it'll turn into a glaze. Hopefully you can hear that. I had it way far away from me, but in any event, um, back to the uh, Swiss chard pan. Getting a pretty good smoke here. I'm going to need to turn it down a little bit, so uh, back in a sec. Okay, greens are in and starting to cook down a little bit. Um, I don't know if you can hear me. Um, yeah, this is, I got three things going at once here, so it's a little bit difficult to do, especially trying to stir left-handed. So I'm going to have to put the phone down again, but anyway, just want to give you a peek at the greens as they're going. Carrots are glazing over there. So anyway, back to this in a sec here. Okay, carrots looking good. Um, most of the liquid is, is, is cooked off. They're heated too. They've been sitting out for about four hours. So, but uh, I don't know about a glaze, but anyway, they look really good. They're going to taste good. And the greens look fantastic. Look at that. Wow. I'm impressed. Um, let me grab the tongs over here and give them a little bit of a stir. Yeah, yeah, those things look great. So they're ready to go. Carrots are ready to go. I need to fish the chicken out and get it on a plate and then uh, show you what it all looks like. Back in a minute. Okay, there we go. Have the Swiss chard with garlic and uh, a little bit of red wine vinegar, and we have the glazed carrots, a little bit of parsley, and then we've got the chicken breast. Breast? No, chicken thighs. Chicken thighs. Chicken thighs. I know this is way too much food for one person, but I just wanted to get it all on a plate and show what it looked like. So I'm going to go ahead and dive in and uh, give it a taste, and uh, hopefully it'll be good. I'm sure it will. Um, so in any event, I um, just wanted to uh, thank you all for watching, and again, hasta pronto.